Amen. We're going to start off with a song before we get into our class. At the cross. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Oh, alas, and did my Savior bleed? And did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such? As one as I Oh, at the cross, at the cross Where I first saw the light And the burden of my heart rolled away Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I have done? He grown upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown and love beyond degree oh at the cross at the cross where i first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away oh it was there by faith i received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can ne'er repay the debts of love I owe. Hallelujah. Here, Lord, I give myself away. Tis all that I can do. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. One more time. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Hallelujah. Amen. It was at the cross. Amen. Jesus interceded for us at the cross. Amen. He went to the cross in my place. Amen. It should have been me hanging there. It should have been us hanging there. Amen. The Bible says that cursed is a man that hangeth on a tree. Jesus hung on the tree. He became 
my curse. He took my place. <laughs> Amen. Would we do that for one another? Jesus gave his life. It was at the cross. He interceded for the whole world. Amen. For even those that don't even care for him. I didn't care for him at one time. I tell people, look, don't talk to me about that. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Oh, hallelujah. But Jesus went to the cross and he died. Amen. For all humanity. But he died. But most of all, he rose again. Hallelujah. He rose again. Amen. The Bible says that he rose with all power. Not with some power. With all power. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus has the victory over death and hell. And we thank God for it. Amen. We like to welcome you out there in Facebook land. YouTube, when it comes on later. Amen. Welcome you to Zion Temple Apostolic Faith Church right here at 1525 Jefferson Street where our honorable pastor is Suffolk and Bishop Don Reynolds. Amen. Uh, he's not here tonight. We're praying in his stead. We're teaching in his stead. Amen. But we're holding our pastor up in prayer. Amen. Amen. We need our pastor. And before we get ready to uh, start with this Bible class, we'd just like to come with uh, a few announcements. Amen. Uh, uh, as has been uh, constantly told, amen, uh, the, 100, the 106th International Summer Convention is going to be starting July the 28th through July the 31st. Amen. This year. Amen. That's the international convention. Amen. It's going to be virtual. Amen. So a uh, uh, pastor has been asking us to register. Amen. For that convention. Amen. And uh, uh, you can see it. Uh, it's, it's on, the, on your screen. Go on that, that website and register uh, uh, for that convention. There are going to be some a host of wonderful speakers, amen. You're looking on, you can look on the screen, amen, and see there's going to be some speakers at that convention, amen. amen. That's a convention I, I would like to be there in person. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, amen. amen. They have a host, amen, of witnesses. Uh, so uh, uh, let's let us register for that convention, amen. It's only $25, but you can register register for that convention and then with our in-person services we might as well get these announcements out of the way on uh monday nights uh we have intercessory prayer on our prayer line amen the zion temple prayer line amen i don't know if any of you here that were on that prayer line on on this past monday night but lord have mercy did we go in? Did the saints go in? The saints went in on Monday night. Amen. The saints were praying out to God. Amen. Uh, and, and then, uh, and so that's going to be at 6 p.m. on every Monday night, uh, 6 to 7 p.m. And then on our on our Wednesday nights, we have our our in-person uh, Bible class, Bible studies. Amen. Uh, pastor is still asking us to register for that you know we, we we want to practice social distancing amen so uh, we like to call the numbers amen and register so we can be in that number so we can be in the number so we can be right here in Bible class it is a wonderful thing brothers and sisters to be in Bible class now I've, I've been sitting on the other side I have sat on the other side and I I have sat uh, in my bedroom, in my living room, in the kitchen, amen, and I've watched the live stream, amen, and it's wonderful, but it is nothing like being in Bible class in person. We can just feel the Spirit of God, amen, right here, amen. The Bible tells us that where there are two or three gathered together in His name, touching and agreeing on any one thing, that there the Lord would be in the midst. Amen. And so that's on Wednesday night. And then on Friday nights, uh, we have our Sunday school staff uh, under our superintendent, uh, Brother Bill Eldridge, 
uh, that will be teaching our Sunday school lesson, and that's a wonderful thing. I haven't heard any other uh, ministries teaching the Sunday school lesson weekly, every week, amen. On Friday, they're teaching the Sunday school lesson for that coming Sunday, amen. And so uh, we, we want to uh, tune in, tune, tune in to our Facebook page, amen. Uh, uh, and listen to that, that Sunday school lesson. Get your Sunday school books and follow along. And then on, on Sunday mornings, Sunday afternoon at 12 noon, uh, we've been outside uh, the, the last few weeks. But even when we come back inside, uh, we want you, amen, uh, the announcement will be put out early enough to where if it's uh, in, in church, if we're in church in person, you can call in and you can register and get your place so you can come in. <coughs> Amen. So we like to keep all of those announcements in mind. Uh, and what we're going to get ready to do right now, we're going to get ready to, to go into this Bible study. Uh, I don't know how many of us were here today. Today we were here at noonday prayer. Amen. And we had a nice uh, 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 number of, of saints, a nice number of people that were right here, amen, in, they were in that prayer meeting, and Lord, did we pray, amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, our pastor, our pastor, the devil, as many people hear me say, the devil is shooting at the head, amen. If the devil can knock the head out, Amen. Everybody else, everybody else will will just crumble and stumble and fall. <coughs> Amen. So we want to keep our pastor in prayer. Uh, amen. And not just our pastor. We want to pray for everyone. We want to pray for for one another. Let's pray for one another. Amen. 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 The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing, and we're going to get into it. And so, so for that cause. Uh, uh, these last few weeks, we have been uh, teaching on enduring faith in trying times. But today, we're we're going to uh, uh, we're going to take a different stand today. We're we're gonna we're gonna talk about prayer. Amen. We are going to talk about the power of prayer. Amen. How many of us believe in prayer? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I, I've heard some people say, what do I need to get down on my knees and pray for? What do I need to? <laughs> we don't know. It is something supernatural. It's supernatural. Amen. We can pray to God. Yes. We can pray to God. And brothers and sisters, Lord have mercy. We're going to get into this lesson. Amen. And I, I, I even thought about uh, 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 subtopping this lesson. Uh, uh, the power of intercessory prayer. Amen. So, our, our focus verse is going to come out of Luke, the 18th chapter. Our focus verse is going to come out of Luke, the 18th chapter. Hallelujah. Luke 18 and 1. And it says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Who was this speaking? This was Jesus speaking, Amen. And, and, and while we have that on our mind, we want to start off because I, I, I don't, I don't want to start anything without prayer. We want to go before the Lord in prayer. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Pray with me, brothers and sisters. Lord God, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Oh God, at your church. Oh God, you told us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving. Oh God, and into your courts with praise. Oh God, we. Thank you today. We thank you for being so good to us. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come to the house of prayer once again. You said that your house should be the house of 
be called the house of prayer for all nations. Everybody can come here and pray. Everybody can come here and lay their burdens down. Oh God, as we go into this Bible study, as we go into this class, oh God, open up our understanding. Open up our hearts. Give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. Oh God, go all out into the airways. Oh God, touch. Oh hallelujah. Heal and deliver. There's somebody that is looking for deliverance. There's somebody that needs an answer to prayer. Oh God, we're teaching about prayer tonight. Bless in Jesus' name. Lord, touch my tongue. Let my tongue be as a ready pen. Help us in Jesus' name. Word our mouth. Oh God, don't let it be us. Oh God, but you take our place from heaven, from from the heaven to the pulpit, oh God, and then out to the pews, oh God, touching each and every one. Anoint them, give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 So, uh, uh, as we started off here uh, in Luke 18 and 1, this is Jesus speaking. And Jesus doesn't just speak idle words. When Jesus spoke, amen, he had purpose in what he was saying. Amen. And then, and it says, and he spake a parable unto them to this end. That men and women should, they ought always to pray. And not to faint. Oh hallelujah. When we don't know anything else to do. Brothers and sisters. We can pray. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. What is prayer? What is, what is prayer? Oh hallelujah. Prayer is a, a petition. Uh, it, it's, it's a request. Prayer is a plea. It, it's a call. Uh, 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 for help. Amen. Have, have any, any of us ever got down and prayed? Oh, oh, oh thank you, Jesus. I have got, had to get down and pray when I didn't know what to do. I didn't know which way to go. There are many times we don't know which way to go. Oh, hallelujah. We don't know to go left or to go right. I need to be led. Oh, hallelujah. I need the Lord to show me what to do. Amen. Because none of us know our way. We're, we're pilgrims. Woo, we are pilgrims and strangers here. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Now, when we get to heaven, amen, we can, there's some say I can just walk all over God's heaven. Amen. We can, we can walk the streets of gold. But until then, I need my spiritual direction. Yes. And so, uh, uh, prayer is our hotline. Oh, hallelujah. I heard our pastor say that uh, prayer is our weapon of warfare. Amen. We don't use these. We don't use these fists. Amen. Sometimes I've heard somebody say, well, uh, uh, I know the Bible says turn the other cheek. But when I'm turning the other cheek, I might be looking for a two by four. <laughs> or no. Turn the other cheek because the Bible says that vengeance is mine. I shall repay. Don't pick up a brick. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Don't pick up a two by four. Don't, don't, don't hit nobody. Don't hit nobody. Amen. But uh, oh, the Bible tells us that men ought always pray. We want to be able to commune with God. We want to be able to, to cry out to God. Has anybody just cried out to God? I have gotten up out of my bed and I have just cried out to God. Sometimes you can feel so heavy. Sometimes you don't even know what it is, but you just feel a need to pray. Sometimes what you're doing, you're interceding for somebody else. Oh, glory to God. You are batting for somebody else. Amen. You're uh, 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 making a supplication for somebody else. And so the Bible tells us that in all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Amen. Praise God. 
it didn't say some things. And that uh, Matthew 21 and 22, amen, in case some of you, you, you want to write it down. It says, all things. Somebody say all. All, all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, yes. believing, ye shall receive it. Brothers and sisters, we have got a hotline to God. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. And all things. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And then, 1 Thessalonians uh, 5 and 17, because we're talking about Jesus said that whatsoever, I mean, he says that, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17, it tells us to pray without ceasing. Amen. Amen. So here it is. Uh, uh, the Apostle Paul was saying the same thing that Jesus said. So what we want to do, uh, uh, we want to talk about the, the power of prayer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Acts. The 12th chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we are praying for our pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before I start teaching, or two, this is the third week I've been teaching. Uh, the week before that, uh, he had a premiere on. So our pastor, amen, he can't get up and do what he wants to do. Amen. Our pastor needs our prayer. Yes. I heard Paul say, and we're going to get into it. He, Paul said, pray for me that utterance might be given. Our pastor, amen, they are under the, the direction of God. The Bible tells, them, tells him, says, feed the flock. Where God has made you overseer of. Yes. Amen. And if the devil can take him out. Lord have mercy. Amen. We're like, we're like sheep without a shepherd. So what I'm going to do. Uh, 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 we're here in Acts. The 12th chapter. This was a little bit of, uh, of a situation. But King Herod was on the throne. And well, we're gonna and we, we're gonna kind of stay in this chapter a little bit and we're gonna read and I want you all to look along with me and you out there in Facebook land, look along with me and read because there is an answer to intercessory prayer. The first verse here it says, now about that time, Herod, the king, stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Back during this time, you know, the church had just began, amen, and so he wanted to vex the church. Laws are going on now. Do you know that they, they've got, I don't know, I, I can't recall the letter, the LBG, whatever, whatever it is, they, they have a day set aside, and, and it's for, and, and I'll say it out loud, for the gays and the lesbians, amen, for all of those uh, that have another spirit. That's another spirit. And they have their holiday, amen, and they're certain, telling certain vendors that they can't sell their stuff there because uh, 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 they fought against them being legalized. Oh, hallelujah. So things are going on now, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Where we have to pray 
they don't want us to talk about this in the school. They don't want you to talk against them. I drive a school bus part time, amen. And I have we have gone out to the high schools to pick up uh, the, the children to take them home, and you've got men, young men, hugged up together, kissing one. So now here it is. They put something forth here. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Verse number two, he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Verse number three, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, it pleased the church people, mm. he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. Verse number four. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him into four quartillion of soldiers to keep him, Amen. intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Yes. Verse number five. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Are we looking at this verse? Amen. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer. Yes. Somebody say prayer. prayer. But prayer. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Mm-hmm. It made note that the church got together. Yeah, he was in jail. Our pastor, oh hallelujah, he is sequestered. He can't get out. Amen. He's under arrest, basically. Amen. Because he can't get out. He can't do anything. So uh, he's bound. Amen. Our pastor is bound. The devil think he got him. But somebody tell me, but prayer. But prayer. <laughs> Woo. but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. How many of us are praying for Bishop Reynolds? Yeah. Amen. We start calling. The calls start going out last night telling uh, the saints, look, we're going to meet up at Zion Temple. We're going to meet up at Zion at 12 o'clock, like soldiers getting their orders. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. For those of us that was able to make, make it here, amen, we have not been together. I mean, because, because of this pandemic, we have not been able to come together for our prayer meetings. We've been doing it on Monday nights. But brothers and sisters, we walk through this place today calling on God. We were calling on Jesus. We were pleading the blood. Pleading the blood of Jesus. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Telling Satan, get your hands off in Jesus' name. Where there are two, hallelujah, where there are two or three gathered together in his name, he said, there I will be in the midst. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes God let things happen so we will get up. Some, sometimes this pandemic has put some of us Amen. In that lazy river. <laughs> Amen. Ha have any of us ever been to, uh, where, where is that? Wisconsin Dells? Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 you go on the, what they call the, the lazy river. Yeah. Amen. And you get in that, that, that uh, inner tube and you just go around and just relax. <laughs> Not knowing that pretty soon what they call is the big kahuna is coming. We don't know when it's coming, but we just relax. Brothers and sisters, we can't get relaxed. Hallelujah! We can't get relaxed in this world. Oh, hallelujah. The, the devil is making, making you feel like, oh, you just sit back and you just take it easy. And sooner or later, the big kahuna is coming. And then the waves, and, and they bolster us. Sometimes it kicks people out of that, that inner tube. Hallelujah. 
Amen. So some of us have gotten in the lazy river and we're, we're on that inner tube and we're just going around and we're not paying attention to anything. Oh, hallelujah. But God wants us to pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Jesus said that men should always pray and not to faint. Here it is. It took one verse to note. Here it is. Peter, we already see where James was killed with a sword. They had already killed the apostle James. I mean, one, one of the apostles. And already killed him. And put Peter in jail. Intending after he, Easter. They were going to. They were going to take him out. <laughs> the king said. Oh, oh the Jews. Are, they're happy. After this holiday. After this holiday. We're going to bring him out. And we're going to do something. Alright. Now let's continue to read. Uh, verse number 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, yes. bound with two chains and the keepers before the door. Hallelujah. He was bound. Amen. He, he was bound physically, but he was not bound spiritually. He was not bound spiritually. Yes. Yes. Brothers, we might be bound. The devil might, the devil think that he got, hallelujah, our pastor. The saints of Zion are praying. This is going to raise our spirituality, brothers and sisters. You watch. We get on board with this. Lord have mercy. You out there in Facebook land, amen, listening to this Bible study, you watch. There's some people that's not going to watch. That's not going to pray. They're going to sit around and say, uh -huh, I want to see what's going to happen now. Here it is. Peter was on death row. Yeah. They knew they had him. Four quaturians of soldiers. That means four different groups of soldiers. So all together, I think it's something like about 16 soldiers. They were around him all the time. So he couldn't get away. Mm. All right, verse number seven. And behold, the angel of the Lord. Somebody say the angel of the Lord. Angel. The angel of the Lord came upon him. Woo! And a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly and his chains fell off from his hands why was this happening brothers and sisters verse number five <laughs> hallelujah verse number five Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God God had answered prayer. And here it is. Angels coming to the rescue. Angels, hallelujah, brothers and sisters, are coming to the rescue of our pastor. The, hallelujah. The devil thinks he got him. Oh, God. Hallelujah. And the chains fell off from his hand. Verse number eight. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, bind on thy sandals. Put your shoes on, bro. <laughs> I want to, look, Peter was, he was sitting there asleep. Peter wasn't worried. Y'all know if it hadn't been us. Oh, Lord. Y'all didn't give me my phone call. Can I get my phone call? Give me, give me my phone. <sighs> And some of us, I, I want my mama. <laughs> I want, I want, we don't call for daddy. For some reason, we don't call. I want, I want my mama. I want, I want my mama. I want my mama. <laughs> we, we in jail, crying. 
Oh, hallelujah. But this man was asleep. The angel had to smote him and tell him, say, look, wake up. Put your shoes on. And the angel said unto him, gird thyself, bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said within unto him, cast thy garment about thee. Let's go. <laughs> and follow me. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask once again, why was this happening, brothers and sisters? Prayer. Prayer will break the shackles. Prayer will set you free. Oh, hallelujah. If we can get anybody, if we can get the saints to pray, oh, hallelujah. Amen. I, I have said this. When this pandemic, when it struck, when it first hit, amen, out of 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, he said, but if my people, which are called by my name, what's his name, somebody? Jesus. Which are called by his name. Hallelujah. Y'all keep the camera on because I might get up and start shouting. But if my people, which are called by my name, if they would humble themselves, hallelujah, and pray, pray without ceasing, lift up his name, call on his name, call on his name. When they tell you, amen, on the job, don't talk about Jesus. When they're telling you, amen, you can't call on him. You can't do, you can't be doing this. You on the job. Call Jesus, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, then will I hear from heaven. I'll heal the sick. I'll heal this land. This land is sick. Oh, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we got the key. The saints of God has the key. Prayer. Somebody say prayer. prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Prayer. Oh, prayer has unlocked this man's chains. And he wasn't even scared. <laughs> Y'all hear these the young people that, that, that slang? I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of you. Hey, man, this man wasn't even scared. All right, verse 9. And he went out and followed him. He followed the angel. And was not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. He thought he was dreaming. He, man, he, he was sleeping. He said, now, I know this ain't happening. <laughs> he, he thought he saw a vision. Brothers and sisters, ha have God answered some of your prayers and you thought, say, wow, how did this happen? I don't, I don't even know how it happened. I can't even explain it. Oh, Jesus, I, I can't explain what God did. I can't explain how he set me free. Oh, Jesus. The Friday night that I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I, I couldn't explain. I was messed up off of dope. I was messed up. And when I knew it, I'm telling somebody, look, I'm going to church. I'm on my way to church. Amen. On Friday night, full of dope. And knew what I was coming to do. To do. I knew I was coming to get the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory to God. We jumped and shouted so that night. Wait. There was one mother say, oh, Brother Brown, you had slob just running all down me, but it was just so beautiful. Look, the Holy Ghost will, will change your life. When I went back to work the next day, people say, y'all look at him, he's still tripping. <laughs> I'm telling yeah, I was tripping off the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Woo, hey, I can still remember it. Where we were, where we at? I'm getting too happy here. Oh, okay, verse number 10, verse number 10. When they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord, and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed from him. 
Now here it is, Peter by himself. The angel done laid him out, <laughs> done locked the doors. Woo, hallelujah. Peter still think that he's dreaming. Verse number 11. Brothers and sisters, you got your Bible? Got your Bible? I, I want y'all to read this with me. Verse number 11, read it with me. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Now I know. He not, had not been in this position before. This increased this man's faith. Because if we, if we have read the book of Acts, if we have read Peter on down the line, amen, he's done wonders after wonders after wonders. When God brings our pastor forth, brothers and sisters, I'm not saying if, when he, <laughs> when he brings them forth, when he come back in, y'all, <laughs> world by the water. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a rumbling here. There's going to be a rumbling. And I'm telling you, people's faith is going to be increased. People's faith is going to be increased. People, oh, hallelujah. Lord, you, Zion Temple has been a saving station for years. Yes. Brothers and sisters, like I say, the big kahuna is coming. <laughs> the big kahuna is coming. When on the lazy river now, on the lazy river. Things, you think that something was going on with the pandemic. Something else is coming. I don't, oh Jesus, I don't know what it is, but God is preparing us. Through, God is preparing us, brothers and sisters. You out there in Facebook land, God is preparing us. Let's get ready. I've heard, what, what's it man? TDJ say, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, brothers and sisters, get ready. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. And then uh, we haven't come to conclusion yet. Look, verse number 12. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. In other words, he went to church. That's where they were. The church, in verse 5 said, but the church prayed. Therefore Peter was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Now, he then came to church. I want us to pay attention to what's going on here. Yes. Hallelujah. Our pastor Amen. He's been down for a while. Hallelujah. How many of us believe that God is answering prayer? Yes, Can you feel something going on here? Yes. Can you feel something going on in Zion? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. This what happened here did not take God by surprise. God wasn't surprised when they killed James. God wasn't surprised when they uh, uh, took Peter and put him in jail. He already had the angels ready to come down. <laughs> the angels were ready to do their job. They were just waiting for the saints to pray. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, verse number 13. And Peter knocked at the door of the gate. A damsel came to hearken Name Rhoda. Verse 14. Y'all y'all looking at this? Yes. Amen. Yes. Brothers and sisters, this is not a fairy tale. Amen. Some people read this like it's a fairy tale. This is not a fairy tale. Yes. This happened. Yeah. This is the history of the church. Amen. And when she knew Peter's voice. She didn't even open the door. When she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, <laughs> but ran in 
and told how Peter stood before the gate. Brothers and sisters, you all don't even know. We don't even know the power that we have in prayer. Those of us that are baptized in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Those of us that are filled with the Holy Ghost, Jesus said it in Acts 1 and 8. He said, but ye shall receive what? 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 Ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Not no human power. Brothers and sisters, it took the power of God for this to happen. This wasn't just by happenstance. They were getting ready to kill old boy. They were getting ready to put him to death. Oh, hallelujah. These governors now, look, they're trying to please the people, the, the LBG or whatever they call them. They're trying to please the people. They're going to try and tell us when they come in here. And we can't treat them bad. When they come in here, want to get on the organ. When they come, I heard somebody say, uh-uh. When they come in here, want to play the, uh, 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 the piano. When they want to direct the choir. Because you know the fallen angels. Oh, Jesus. They're going to come in here, and then they're going to go and turn us into the law. Trouble is coming, brothers and sisters. We, the, the big kahuna is coming. I'm saying, yeah, this is Elder Tyrone Brown from the Zion Temple Apostolic Faith Church right here, 1525 Jefferson. Amen. I said it. Amen. We ain't scared. <laughs> we are not scared. Amen. Because we got power. What he's doing now, he, he's working on us. Amen. If Bishop were not down or whatever, we'd probably be just sitting, still sitting around like, relaxing. The last few weeks, there, there was hardly anybody here at Bible class. Look, these are the last days. These are the last days. These are the last days. Paul said in the letter that peerless times would come. He wrote those letters over 2,000 years ago. Peerless times are here. We're right in the midst of it right now. And it's not going to get better. Woo! Let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. All right, she knew it out of voice. Okay, verse number 15. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. Girl, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? She said, Peter out there knocking. Girl, what's wrong with you? They done prayed Peter out of jail. Oh, Jesus. They done prayed his bands loose. Hallelujah. They done got him free and didn't even believe it themselves. Let's look at it. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, it's an angel. No, it ain't, it ain't. Brothers and sisters, we can pray so. You can pray in the spirit so until God will lose shackles God will set people free. Amen. I came up, I was raised up at Bethlehem Healing Temple. I was baptized in Jesus' name uh, over on 12 South uh, uh, Oakley Boulevard. Oh, I mean on, on Lake Street. Oh, hallelujah. I've seen people throw away their canes. I've seen a woman, when I was a little boy, a woman brought her, her baby in, didn't have a tongue. And came in and prayed, prayed for the baby, and amen. And the mother had had the the bottle in her hand because the mother uh, mother pool told the woman, say, look, come on to church, bring the baby and a bottle. I remember this when I was a little boy. 
Oh, hallelujah. Came there and the saints at Bethlehem Healing Temple over there in Chicago, they were some praying people. And got up and prayed for that child and somebody noticed and say, look, the baby is sucking the bottle. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, except we see signs, hallelujah, except we see signs and wonders, they will not believe. We have got to see some signs and wonders. Some of us know the condition our pastor is in. Amen. I'm not going to say it all, but amen. Our pastor needs our prayer. Oh, hallelujah. And we're praying. We're going to get ready to cut this thing off because we want to go before the Lord in prayer. We, amen. We want you out there in Facebook land. Amen. You, those of you that are filled with the Holy Ghost, those of you that can get a prayer through. Amen. I, we want you to be able to stick your chest out and then you're going to be able to, to write. Amen. Or, or, or either call that number and say, yeah, I prayed. I was with them when they prayed. It was me too. I was a part of that noisy crew. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It says, but P Peter in 16th verse. I'm getting so excited here. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Now, <clears throat> we see that word astonished. Say, mm. Uh, oh, he's free. No, astonished. I'm telling you, that place probably lit up. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Just like over there on, on 12 South Oakley. Oh, hallelujah. When that baby starts sucking that bottle, I guarantee you, Lord have mercy. Brothers and sisters, you all should have saw it. There were people that were getting baptized in Jesus' name over there. They they couldn't they they couldn't get clothes dry. They would put wet clothes on other on people and baptize them. People wanted to be baptized. Brothers and sisters, except they see signs and wonders, there is going to be a revival. And it's got to start somewhere. Let it start here. Oh, hallelujah. Our pastor, a greater anointing is going to be on our pastor. Lord, I'm telling you. Amen. So, but Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoned unto them with a hand to hold their peace, declaring unto them how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Oh, hallelujah. And he said, go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went another way. Look, he told them, say, now, look, go off and tell it. Go and tell it. Brothers and sisters, when we see this thing happen and we're testifying now, we're, fi we're feeling the unction of the Holy Ghost now. Hallelujah. We're going to get ready. I'm getting ready to close this. Amen. I had so much I wanted to say. We might continue next week. I don't know. Bishop might be back next week. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. But he's bound. But brothers and sisters, we're getting ready to offer up some prayer right now. Yes, yes. We're getting ready to pray. Y'all going to pray with me? Oh, brothers and sisters, out, you out there in Facebook land, amen, let's get ready to pray. Let's get ready to call on our God. Don't just whisper it. Call on your God. Call on your God, amen. We're lifting up our pastor in prayer. Lord God, hallelujah, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, here we are. Here we are at Zion Temple. <laughs> Here we are. We're holding up our pastor in Jesus' name. Lord, we are rebuking Satan right now. Satan, get your hands off of him. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Lord, we have read your word. Oh, God, we have read your testimony out of the book of Acts. We believe. Oh, hallelujah, that you sent the angels, uh, oh God, that loosed the chains off of Peter. Oh, hallelujah, we believe right now that you're sending the angels to loose the, the chains off of our pastor. Loose him uh, and let him go. In Jesus' name, Satan.
Get your hands off of him. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of God in Jesus' name. We're asking you to touch him. Oh, hallelujah. Heal him. Oh, hallelujah. Deliver him in Jesus' name. There's somebody out there in Facebook land. They are faced, oh God, with some hard situation. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, you said, except we believe. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You told us to have faith in you, oh God. Without faith, that it is impossible to please you. Uh, we are believing you uh, for a miracle. Uh, we are believing you uh, uh, to touch our pastor. Uh, we are believing you uh, to bring him back. Uh, uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, at your name, Lord. Uh, at the name Jesus. Uh, you have given him uh, a name uh, above every other name. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, at the name of Jesus. Uh, demons and devils, uh, they got to get back. Uh, at the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God. Uh, the devil uh, has got to be subject uh, unto that name. Uh, you have given him a name. Uh, oh, God. You have highly exalted him. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, bless our pastor. Bless each and every one. Uh, oh, God. Uh, that is interceding uh, for our pastor. Uh, Lord, we know uh, there is power uh, in prayer. Uh, there is power. Uh, and interceding. Help us in Jesus' name. Look on First Lady Reynolds. Oh God, as she's standing by our pastor's side, strengthen her where she's weak. Pick her up where she's falling down. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Look on each and every one that is in this congregation. Oh, hallelujah. We're calling on your name. Jesus. 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 Thou son of David. Have mercy on us. Oh, God. Jesus. We're looking to you. All the ends of the earth. You told us to look to you uh, all the ends of the earth uh, and be saved. Uh, help us in Jesus' name. Uh, increase our faith. Uh, help us in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, uh, help in Jesus' name. Uh, help Jesus. Uh, uh, help Jesus. Uh, Lord, we're crying uh, on this Facebook page. Uh, we're crying uh, on this YouTube page. Uh, touch in Jesus' name. Heal in Jesus' name. Deliver in Jesus' name. We thank you for it. Lord, we're thanking you right now. We're thanking you right now for the victory. We are rejoicing right now for the victory. Thank you for the victory right now. Thank you for the victory right now. Thank you for the victory right now. Oh God, lift him up. Raise him up. Oh, hallelujah. He has work to do. Oh, raise him up, Lord. He has a congregation. Oh God, he has this diocese. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He is the president of the state of Indiana. Oh, hallelujah. Bless him in Jesus' name. Region 2 is looking for him. Oh, God, to lead them. Raise up our leader in Jesus' name. Raise up our leader in Jesus' name. Help our leader in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 I thought about that song. Uh, says, I know uh, what prayer can do. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Prayer has brought me through. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. There's a verse in that song I had it written down. It said, you ought to.
pray sometimes. You ought to tell God what's on your mind. That God is never too busy. He's got plenty of time. Tell him in secret. Oh, hallelujah. You won't hear it again. He's the world's greatest doctor. Oh, hallelujah. And he's man's greatest friend. I know, I know, I know what prayer can do. We know what prayer can do, brothers and sisters. Saints don't stop praying. Saints don't stop praying. Saints don't stop praying. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 5 of this verse, it says, But prayer was made without ceasing of the church of God. And then the Bible tells us, hallelujah, in the book of Jude, the 20th verse, oh hallelujah, it says, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. And then it tells us, praying in the Holy Ghost. Don't just get down there spitting and popping, oh hallelujah, pray yourself through. You find yourself going to sleep, going off, Get up, start clapping your hands. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, prayer works. Prayer works. It works so quickly that the saints, they didn't even believe it. Hallelujah. Some of us, amen. I can't tell it. Bishop Reynolds is going to tell it. Bishop Reynolds is going to tell you what he's been going through. Oh, brothers and sisters. Oh. And we ought to rejoice with them that rejoice. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Brothers and sisters, the power of prayer. Prayer works. Prayer works. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We, we pray that you got something out of this Bible class. Look, let's stay in God. Stay in God. He said that if you abide in me, yes. oh, hallelujah, yes. and my word abide in you, yes. that you can ask for what you will. Yes. It didn't say summons. And the Bible said you can ask for what you will. Yes. Read it for yourself. Go home and read it. Hallelujah. Prayer changes things. Prayer changed this. This man was on death row. But the saints got together. They got together in one place. And they were with one accord. Brothers and sisters, when we go home this evening, let's call a neighbor, call a friend, call your prayer partner. Before you go to bed, say, look, Let's say another prayer. Let's do another prayer. It didn't about when we started off, Jesus said that men ought always to pray. We want to keep on praying. Amen. We pray that we got something out of this. Amen. I'm going to stop right here. Amen. Pray without ceasing. Let's continue to pray. I don't know if they plan on being down here at noon or tomorrow or not. Amen. But if, if they have the doors open, let's come back down here and pray. Amen. Let's be praying. We're going to pray until we see him. That's what they did. When he knocked on the door and, and the damsel came to the door, the saints back in the church, they were still praying. And when she came and told them, say, look, y'all, Peter's at the door. Oh, girl, you, something wrong with you. And they kept on praying. Hallelujah. Let's keep on praying. Yes. Amen.
God is prayer answering God. God bless you in Jesus name. We pray, amen, that you got something out of this class tonight. Like we say, uh, if we still down, we might continue uh, uh, the second part of it. Man, there's still some more. I still got some notes. There's still some more. Amen. But we want to be praying. Let's pray for one another. There's somebody that you know. And there's some of us. There's some of us. Yes, we're out here. But you're bound. The devil has you bound. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Nobody else knows it but you, God, and the devil. Hallelujah. But come on down here while the saints are praying. The saints are interceding. We're interceding. There is an intercessory team that's here. When, when, when the uh, a prayer, when that text comes through, I immediately just start praying for whoever it is. I immediately start praying. Amen. So God bless you, one and all. We're gonna end this Bible class in Jesus' name. Let's be praying for one another. Pray for Elder Brown. Paul said in one of the verses. Uh, he said, pray for me. Paul asked him, he said, pray for me that utterance may be given. The devil is fighting at the ministry. Yes. Not just at the ministry at Zion Temple. The devil is he, he He's seeking whom he may devour. He wants to tear the ministry down. Yes. He don't want people saved. Amen. He wants people, uh, like Bishop was saying, people talk about they got hurt in the church, but they didn't go out there to the bar. And they, sometimes they didn't got clipped. <laughs> they got robbed, but they go right back to the bar again. <laughs> and then they say, I ain't coming to church because the church hurt. But they keep on going out to the bar. <laughs> so let's keep our pastor in prayer. Let's keep one another in prayer. So God bless you. This bring our Bible class to an end. Call that number, a man on the screen, you out there in Facebook land, 219-883-8831, amen. And then with our giving, our avenues of giving, we have Zelle, we have Cash App, <coughs> hallelujah. And uh, uh, we got Zelle, Cash App, and one other. Givelify, Which, Givelify, Givelify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, Givelify. So let's give, let's give to this ministry. Brothers and sisters, let's give our tithe and offering. Amen. Even though we're not having service here, we see that air conditioning on. I know we're, we're fanning, but it's not as hot as it could be. <laughs> Amen. All right. So let's support our church. Let's support Beth Zion Temple Apostolic Faith Church. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.